Hi folks, welcome to the Learning Hub YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing great. In this video, we are going to talk about difference between delete, truncate and draw SQL commands and also their properties, syntax, examples and interview questions. This is most common question asked during interview. Let us learn in detail. Now we will discuss the difference between delete and truncate SQL commands. Delete is a data manipulation language command, whereas truncate is data definition language command. We can use where clause with delete to filter and delete specific records, whereas we cannot use where clause with truncate. Delete operations can be rolled back whereas truncate operations cannot be rolled back. Delete activates a trigger because the operations are logged individually. When we execute delete command, delete trigger will be initiated if present. Delete is a DML command and it deletes the data on row by row basis from a table, which means delete is modifying the data by deleting it from the table. Triggers are fired when a DML statement executed on a table. So trigger will be fired in case of delete command execution. Whereas truncate table can't activate a trigger because the operation does not log individual row deletions. When we run truncate command to remove all rows of a table, then it actually doesn't remove any row, rather it deallocates the data pages. In case of truncate triggers will not be fired because no modification take place. We have just deallocated the data pages, not deleted any row from table. Delete is executed using a row lock. Each row in the table is locked for a deletion. Whereas truncate is executed using a table lock and whole table is locked for remove all records. Delete maintain the log, so it slower than truncate. Truncate does minimal logging in transaction log, so it is performance wise faster. Delete uses the more transaction space than truncate statement. Truncate uses the less transaction space than delete statement. Delete can be used with indexed view. Truncate cannot be used with indexed view. To use delete, you need delete permission on the table. Whereas to use the truncate on a table, you need at least alter permission on the table. The delete command is used to remove rows from a table based on a where condition. Whereas truncate removes all rows from the table. Now we will discuss the difference between delete and drop SQL commands. Delete is a DML command, whereas drop is a DDL command. Delete operations can be rolled back, whereas drop operations cannot be rolled back. The most important feature is the delete command is used to remove rows from a table based on a where condition whereas drop command removes a table from the database now we will look into the syntax to achieve the same syntax for sql delete statement is delete from table name followed by where condition here where condition is optional Syntax for SQL truncate statement is truncate table table name. Syntax for SQL drop statement is drop table table name.
Now we will discuss most important part of this video is nothing but interview questions related to delete, truncate and drop. The first question is difference between delete and truncate. Second question is difference between delete and drop. So we have already discussed on these topics. Third question may be difference between drop and truncate. As we discussed, the SQL drop is a DDL command and it is used to remove an object from the database. If you drop a table, all the rows in the table is deleted and the table structure is removed from the database. Once the table is dropped, we cannot get it back. So be careful while using drop command. When a table is dropped, all the references to the table will not be valid. Now coming to the difference between drop and truncate statement is R. If a table is dropped, all the relations with other tables will no, no longer be valid. The integrity constraint will be dropped. Grant or access privileges on the table will also be dropped. Whereas, if you want to use the table again, it has to be recreated with the integrity constraint. Access privileges and the relationship uh, and the relationships with other tables should be established again. But if table is truncated, the table structure remains the same. Therefore, any of the above problem will not exist. Fourth question may be, write a syntax for SQL delete, truncate, and drop statements. So we have already discussed on this topic. Last but not the least, what is rollback and commit in SQL? Rollback is used for undoing the work done in the current transaction. This command also releases the logs if any holds by the current transaction. Whereas, commit is used to end the transaction and make the changes permanent. When commit is performed on all save points are erased and transaction logs are released. In other words, commit ends a transaction and marks the beginning of a new transaction. Text version of this video, syntax to create tables and value insertions are available on my blog. Follow me on below link my learning hub for you dot blogspot .a. thanks for watching this video if not subscribe already please do it now don't forget to click on bell button to receive up to date notifications if you have any questions please post in comment section i will try to answer in next video i hope this all was very useful i will meet you in next video thanks for watching